is a title track to one of my albums, to my second album. It's called Let It Shine, and I've only recently reintroduced it into my repertoire. I actually had to Google the words. <laughs> I know there's no naked pictures of me on the internet because if you Google "Let It Shine" and Jeremy Fisher, that should probably trigger something. Out. But um, I digress. I uh, yeah, so I had to Google the lyrics to this, and uh, recently my friend, I don't, I I have all my CDs here tonight except for "Let It Shine" because I can't. Get Sony Records owns that one, and they won't return my phone calls or emails. <laughs> but my friend John Bartlett just bought one at a used CD store for two dollars. Oh. Yeah, Sony used to sell them to me for ten dollars. <laughs> but I had autographed it to someone named Dina, <laughs> which at the time she probably thought that would augment its value. <laughs> However, I'm here to tell you. <laughs> Uh, means she got one dollar or less. Your friend should have lied to you about <laughs> Yeah. I think I, I also think I might know her because uh, I think I went I went to high school with a Dina who spelled her name that way. Anyway, I once bought one of my albums off a kid off the street in Montreal. I bought a, I bought a copy of my Goodbye Blue Monday record, unsigned for three dollars. <laughs> that record label sells them to me for eight dollars. You know, once, once again, a steal. <laughs> but it was punched. It was a promotional copy, so he didn't pay shit for it. <laughs> it's a good deal all around. <laughs>